<sighs> well, I never thought that I'd actually see the day that I would be calling someone out for being a pedophile. Multiple times, actually. This isn't the first time I've done this. But, alas, here we are. So, I decided to actually make a full video on this topic because, well, one, a lot of people stopped talking about this, and I feel like this is a serious topic that needs to be continued to be addressed until the actual issue at hand is fixed. Because, guys, this is not a light situation. By absolutely no means is this a life situation. In fact, pedophilia is a very serious thing. You really should not be throwing that word around like crazy, but that is exactly what this situation is. So I'm going to do a quick recap before I get into this whole situation. I have new information right here, um, but before I do that, I just want to say this. I am by no means wanting this situation to continue going. I want the situation to end just as much as Alyssa and Ryan both do as well. I only want the right thing to end from this, which is the pedophile gets, well, it all gets sorted out. We can just leave it at that, but everybody knows what that means. I'm sorry if I'm like, spacing out every once in a while. I've never been good with doing improv like this. I am literally doing this just at two in the morning at a sleepover at my friend's house. They're in the other room and here I am in their basement. So for those who are unaware of the situation, um, in the washer community, a user, Ryan's washer videos, decently popular, about 2K subs, I think they're pretty close to. Um, is dating another user, Alyssa Toll. Um, Alyssa is a 16-year-old and Ryan is a 19-year-old. It does not matter the age of consent in this situation because they are not doing anything sexually, obviously, although they did have plans to meet up, which seriously worried me. That was a huge red flag. Because, obviously, of course, Alyssa is in serious danger dating a 19-year-old. I don't want to imagine that those are his intentions, but we don't know that. Seriously, online dating in general is a very dangerous thing. I'll admit, I am currently in an online relationship as well. I have been for about a year, but we've met before and this type of thing hasn't happened. We're also, our birthdays are only two weeks apart. We're both 16 and we had known each other for about four years before the relationship. So it is a completely safe thing for us. However, I don't encourage anyone else to do that because long distance relationships can also do a lot to you mentally. I've had my fair share of those. I don't wanna really get into that. This is not me venting about anything. This is literally me addressing the allegations. So, ironically enough, Ryan has not made an official statement about this matter at all. So this leads me to believe that he knows that he's actually guilty of this and that, and that that's why he doesn't want to make a statement about it because he doesn't want to lose subscribers or something. And that's another thing that I think maybe he is wrong. This is only my opinion though, so please don't take this anyway. A subscriber count is only a number. It shouldn't hold any significant value to you. Yes, having 500 subscribers for me is awesome, especially in the time that I got it. But at the end of the day, that's just a number. I can create a new account, make the same videos I am right now with zero subscribers, and everything will still be the same. I'll still be producing the same content, for everybody on the platform. But all of that aside, the baseline is it's a 19 year old dating a 16 year old or vice versa, whichever way you wanna put it, it's still pedophilia. I actually can look up the definition of pedophilia right now and I will. The definition. Pedophilia is a psych reaction, psych, okay, I don't wanna call it a disorder, but we know. 
um, in which an adult or older adolescent experiences a primary or exclusive sexual attraction to prepubescent children. Now, let me set the record straight here. It does not match the definition of pedophilia exactly, but this would still legally be a very, very troublesome case for the both of them. Um, but even then, not even speaking legally, you should have a moral obligation to not date children. I mean, seriously, date someone in your own age range. I, I just genuinely feel like that should be a moral obligation for everyone. But, you know, let's set all of that aside for a second because I had not made a statement on this at all in a while. I was kind of seeing that both of them just kind of stopped talking about the situation and I had already gotten my word out, so I didn't really think I needed to continue with that very much. However, Alyssa made a, um, a community post, or instead of a community post, I should say the entire Old Testament of the Bible. And I'm going to go over this and paragraph by paragraph, or every couple sentences or so, dissect this as much as I can so that I can set the facts straight because I really am not doing this to hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that. I want to make sure that this ends properly, which means that the pedophile stuff is over. It doesn't matter if they're from different states or something. 16 year olds should not date 19 year olds because of the age of consent in the United States is 18. Yes, it varies from state to state, but still if they're in two separate states, then it counts as 18. Let us commence forth. Um, I also just want to say, don't harass either of the users, Alyssa Toll or Ryan's Washer videos. This is simply to help spread the word and hopefully if one of them sees this, it'll help them understand my point of view a little bit better because I feel like there's a huge lack of mis miscommunication. I don't want this to end up like how it ended up with me over Twitter. I've been doxxed about twice and had death threats set to my school. I'm not trying to get something like that out of this situation. I'm not sending death threats to anyone. I'm not doing anything. I am simply in the most, just, what's the word I'm looking for? The most professional manner I am, I am trying to solve this situation so that all of us can move on. Anyways, this was a community post that at this time that I'm recording this, Alyssa made about 11 hours ago. So, let's get started. Good lord, where do I start? So it's been two weeks, has it really already been two weeks, Dan? It's been two weeks since Ryan's washer videos got into a very bullshitty drama, all thanks to some stupid assholes on Discord and a moderator responsible for the drama ban, for the drama banned him from the washer server and scaring the living shit out of him and me and hurt Ryan's feelings and broken his heart and made him cry so bad. Okay, so again, because I Blue was the one who brought this to our attention in the server, I do know which server this happened in because I was the moderator involved with the actual ban. I am the one who pressed the ban button for both the users. Um, and I just wanna set the record straight this community has many, many children in it. And this is, pedophile allegations are serious, very, very serious for any community, especially ones with lots of children in them. Like, I mean, I, like the murder drones community has many children in them and these are usually solved pretty fast because Twitter's pretty good at that. But for this situation, there's not a lot of traction being held. And honestly, I think that's a good thing. I don't want to make this a big deal. The only reason I'm making a video about this again is, of course, so I could settle this in a professional manner, because in the worst case scenario, Alyssa is being groomed. Worst case scenario. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but it could be happening. And if that is, that poses a threat, obviously not only to her, but to all the other children in the platform. I have seen users in this community as young as nine, and I was a user of this community when I was seven. So I know that there are very young children out there who should be protected from this sort of thing. Um, so 
the way this all started, Blue brought some screenshots to our attention of both the about sections of the channels, and it showed Ryan's date of birth and Alyssa's date of birth. By the way, you guys are giving out way too much personal information. It's seriously dangerous. Um, and that's how we found out about that, and we realized just how bad that situation could be, given the amount of children. And so I made the decision that we should ban both of them from that server and also banned from, I think, no, I think they were only banned from that one server, but that, that's just the actions I carried out. By the way, my, if you go back in my community posts, you will find a link to join my server. If Ryan's washer videos or Alyssa told either of them want to genuinely talk about the situation both of you guys can join my server and then direct message me over discord but please do not harass any of the other users in the server because well it's just the wrong thing to do in general you shouldn't be harassing anyone which is not what we're doing we are simply bringing the facts to you guys we're not doing harassment or anything um, let's see, in this same sentence, this is all one giant sentence, sentence, actually. I'm not sure, um, how this really scared either of you guys. Um, the one thing, I, I understand, actually, now that I think of it, because I've been doxxed a couple times, I have no intentions of doing anything like that. Um, if either of those things do happen, first of all, the situation will be treated the same as this situation right here. Because, again, that's a very, very serious thing, and I, I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. And I, I know it probably hurt your guys' feelings, but... It, it had to happen. I'm, I seriously apologize that that's the way things had to go, but that is just the way that things had to go because pedophile allegations are very serious. I'm going to move on from this part of the statement because um, I feel like I've already gone over as much as I can with this part. So let's continue with the actual community post. And let me tell you on how I really felt about it. I felt very scared and anxious and very f and very pissed because I hate it when Ryan is in danger. Ryan was in no danger from the start. I I have seen his house tour video. And my message to both of you guys is you need to take down those videos and any kind of personal information with them because of the situation. People are most likely going to come looking for you guys. Um, unfortunately, just because that's the way the internet works. So I, I do highly encourage you guys take down a lot of your personal information out there. Just because I know there's some crazy people out there and I don't want either of you guys getting wound up in something like that. And I was so anxious that I lost my appetite. I couldn't eat a whole meal for a few days. And I, okay, I'm going to skip this part actually because this is just her kind of venting about how she couldn't eat really. Um, that sounds like a serious problem and rather than me addressing this on a YouTube video, I think maybe you should actually go get some help. Maybe talk to like a counselor or someone that you trust and can talk to. Um, hell, I'd even say Ryan in this situation. Um, but yeah. Uh, but luckily after one week I felt much better because the Ryan's Washer Videos drama was coming to an end, thankfully. And that made me feel better, but I still cannot believe that those idiots did that shit to him. So, the thing about this is, like I said, we're not really idiots for knowing the legality of the United States of America. Um, the legal age of consent in America is 18, because that is when you become a, an adult instead of a minor. And adults and minors should not be dating, period, regardless of it's a, if it's a physical relationship or not. It should not be a thing. Um, and I, I understand that, I'm glad that you felt better, honestly. I 
do not mean to make any of you, either of you guys feel like shit for this situation. But it, it's a serious matter. This should be addressed, which is what I did. I'll admit it. I did take a pretty aggressive approach to my other callouts, I guess. Um, but I just felt at that time that it was necessary because, like I said, there's a lot of kids on this platform that I really, I really do think we should be protecting because they're kids and not like 16 year old kids. We're talking elementary school kids, second graders. That's when I started watching washer videos. I was in second grade. It was crazy, but yeah. So seriously, I am not bashing on either of you guys because of this. I am simply bringing the situation to light so that people are aware of the situation and that they can act accordingly. Which, by the way, how should you act accordingly? Until this issue is resolved, I don't think you should interact with either Ryan's washer videos or Alyssa Toll. Don't send hate to them, but also don't interact with them at all. Um, if you're subscribed from either of the channels, I encourage you to unsubscribe, but that is your decision entirely. Um, but yeah, that is, that's the direction the situation needs to be handled in. So do not, like I said, don't bring them any hate at all. Um, we are, we can be disappointed in Ryan because this is a, this is a pretty big deal. We should be disappointed in him because these are pretty disgusting actions. But if we go out and attack either of these users, especially Alyssa, given the fact that she's just the 16 year old, she did nothing wrong in this situation, then honestly, we're the bad guys if we do that. So that's why I genuinely don't want you guys going out of your way and doing that. There is no right, there is no good or bad party in this. It is simply one party is against the other. Think of this as like a presidential debate type thing. That's the way that I've been seeing this. But I do want to thank some of my subscribers slash friends for supporting Ryan and me during the time when Ryan was in war. So this is something I also wanted to bring up. They claim that we have been dragging on the situation when Alyssa, Ryan has not done this. Alyssa, you have made many posts about this. Not many, sorry. But you've made a handful, more than I have. Actually, we're probably equal, so. But yeah, you have been dragging the situation on yourself, especially by making this post um, because this is a really, really long post, trust me. I literally opened up your community tab and I saw this, I clicked read more and I was just like, oh my God. And I decided at that point that I was gonna make this video. So, by using the hashtag justice for Ryan's washer videos in their comments to show that they love and care for him. That's nice, um, but Justice for a pedophile? I'm sorry, that just that just sounds off. Doesn't sound like maybe these users know exactly what's going on. Because a 19-year-old and a 16-year-old should not be dating because the age of consent is 18. Just saying. Now, here we go. Here we go. This is where things get serious. I believe those trolls didn't believe that me and Ryan are in separate states and that the age of consent is 16 in the states that we live in. Now, here's the thing. That's great that the age of consent is 16 in your states, but because it's separate states, the age of consent becomes 18. That's also just the general standard and it's less of the age of consent and more of, I don't know, this thing called you're a minor and he's an adult. Um, that's a pretty big part of it. And it's not even that. If 
Ryan started the relationship when he was 17, what I've heard from. That means that you were 14 at the time of the relationship, which makes this even worse because that means that it is pedophilia or was pedophilia. But yeah, that's pretty bad. When one person, I'll use my current relationship as an example of this. His birthday is about two weeks after mine. So when I turn 18, I'm going to have to put the relationship on hold for two weeks or yeah, two weeks until he becomes 18 as well. That is the way that it's going to have to happen because if I don't, that makes me a pedophile because I'd be 18 dating a 17 year old. The age of consent in my state, which I should just say right now that that is, I believe that should be the age of consent nationwide, but that's not my matter to decide. The age of consent in my state is 18. In the state of California, it is 18. I'm not sure what state they're from, but, well, states they're from, but if the age of consent is 16 for both of the states they're from, then even then, a 17 and a 14 year old dating, that's, that's literal pedophilia. There is nothing excusable about that. That means that Ryan literally started the relationship while he was above the age of consent and she wasn't. That is straight up pedophilia. That is borderline definition of pedophilia right there. You can't deny that that is a very wrongful thing to do. And that is why one of the main reasons I think that even if maybe I have the situation backwards and this genuinely isn't pedophilia right now, it was pedophilia at a time, which means it's likely going to turn into an abusive relationship in the future. That is just how things go usually. I'm not saying it's going to, but it very well could. And I don't want that happening to anybody. So let's continue. They didn't believe that Ryan is just a young man and he's not fully grown until he's 25. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I get what she's saying here. So your brain doesn't fully start, stop developing until you are 25. So that is technically when you become uh, that's when your brain stops growing. So, yeah, I get what you're saying there. But if I'm 18 and I decide to start a relationship with a 17-year-old, because the age of consent is 18 here, well, I'm still a pedophile, aren't I? It has nothing to do with your brain maturity, it has everything to do with your physical age. That is the whole reason this situation is going the way that it has been. They don't believe that he has autism, anxiety, nor that he is, and nor that he's innocent. All they're doing is making Ryan look bad and look like a punching bag, which is really fucking stupid, especially if they don't have any evidence or pr proof. Ooh, here we go. So, um, ooh, okay. That's where the sentence starts. I'm just going to highlight this so I actually can keep track of this. So, I never brought out anything that said that he was not autistic or anything like that. Um, and honestly, I fully believe you because this is just the general truth. Most of the members of this community are on the spectrum or do have some kind of disorder, or I'm not sure if disorder is the right word to use, but I think that's literally the medical term for it that impacts them mentally. So I never said anything that was kind of just like, oh, he's not any of this. I never said any of that. I'm not sure if anyone else did. If anybody else did, please do let me know because that is, that's, pretty bad. We are actually going to get me tested pretty soon because we believe I'm on the spectrum as well. So this is, this is a mutual thing. I never bashed on Ryan for that at all. I never said that. Um, and all we're doing is making Ryan look bad and look like a punching bag. We, 
are literally not doing that. I have simply been bringing the situation to light so that I can inform others of what's going on and hopefully keep more people safe. That is my end goal in this, is just to keep people safe. Um, especially if they don't have any evidence or proof. The evidence or proof that we have is that you are 16 years old and Ryan is 19 years old. Do I need to say more than that? That is quite literally exactly what it is. Unless you can prove that he is not 19 years old and that you are not 16 years old or that both of you guys started dating when you were above the age of consent, which means very recently, then I don't know. We have, we have some pretty damn solid proof. They are just clowns trying to make false shit happen because they are fucking pussies. I feel, I don't think I need to follow up on this statement. I think my previous statement um, from a couple seconds ago pretty much follows up on this. Um, Alyssa is in danger. Well, bullshit. I was never in danger and never will be in danger. And I have a feeling those trolls want me to be in a relationship with them, which I will never. Um, did I mention I was gay and that this is a woman? Um, Blue is bisexual and the KSG channel is also gay. So that dwindles the chances of us wanting to be in a relationship with you down to about 15%. Um, and yes, you literally are in danger. This, that is quite literally what's going on here because a person who is a pedophile most likely does not have the best intentions because they are wanting to date children. That's just bad, period. All right, here we go. This is why I'd rather stay with Ryan over them idiots because in real life, I'm a total badass and I could knock someone's teeth down their throat if they mess with me too much and I'm fucking strong. I don't give a fuck what y'all say, but I'm so strong as fuck, so you better watch out. I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna say anything about this statement, but I will say this. I think you're fucking stupid for saying this. Um, I'm, I'm, on, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the strongest. Um, I don't know if I could take you in a fight because I don't know if you're there. Like, I don't know what's your bench or something. I don't know any of that. But I can say this with certainty. You should not be saying that because like I said earlier, let's say someone takes this situation very, very badly. They find your address. They want, they want to knock you out. Depending on the kind of person, they can't. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pretty big guy, but I'm also not the strongest. But let's say I started getting gains. I could maybe, once my bench hit like, I don't know. Let's say my bench hits 200, then yeah, mm, not happening, you, you're, you're done. I could lights out you. Um, but don't worry, it's only 135, so yeah. You'll be fine. And I don't have any intentions of coming to your house or whatever. Okay, okay. Let me chill for a damn minute. Ryan's watching videos. If you see this, we all love you and care for you. And I can assure you that your channel is going to keep growing. And eventually you'll get to 2,000 subscribers. If he ever gets to 2,000 subscribers, I just want to say this. I hope that the pedophile stuff is ruled out completely before that happens, because yeah, this is this is bad. And now it looks like it's official. It, now it looks like everything is cooling down, and they quit talking shit about Ryan. So I have to say that Ryan has officially won the war. So you're calling this a war, which implies that you thought that there was a fight on both sides. The only thing we were fighting was our abilities to hold back and not just completely bash on Ryan for being a pedophile. I'm not going to lie. I had to hold back so hard because I'm very passionate about protecting children. 
especially in a community like this. This is a very sacred community to me because it's been with me literally since I was three years old when I had my old GE Fabric Care front loader. I seriously, seriously want to express this as much as I can. I am not here to talk shit, anything like that. I'm simply here to address facts and put records straight. And I seriously do apologize that on my live stream, I took things maybe a little bit too harshly. Um, especially pulling up not like uh, not like us. That was that was kind of a my bad um, my bad moment because that was just inappropriate. I shouldn't have done that. But Ryan did not win the war because there was no war from the beginning. I never started a war. Blue never started a war. None of none of us did. Um, unless you want to, because if you want to, we can, and I will, I can promise you that I will fight for this until I am dead because having pedophiles on a platform with many children, especially in a community that's big with children is bad. And if you don't think that, then there's something wrong with you. Long live Ryan's washer videos, the one and only true badass washing machine YouTuber. And we're finally finished with the community post. I know it was very, very long, but I don't know. I'd say I'm more badass than him. I mean, I suds bombed the W184. I'm cooking up this pretty big video. It's probably the biggest video on Laundromat YouTube. It's going to be like six hours. Trust me, it's it's gonna be big. Um, but that, that's enough flexing my own ego. Um, yeah, I just wanna say, because I probably already said this, but I wanna reiterate, this is a terrible, terrible situation. And I mean no harm to anyone involved with the situation. I simply want this to end peacefully, hopefully, but I will invoke force if I have to, because, well, yeah, this is, this is really bad. This is a serious thing. Children are on this platform, in this community, many, many children, young children. And I don't want even the slightest bit of pedophilia on here because one, that's gonna leave an impression on the kids and two, the children are the are the target of those pedophiles. So this part is mostly going to be a message to Ryan's Washer videos and Alyssa Toll. So everyone else, that's it. That's my statement. But I do want to say this to both of you. I am trying to be as transparent with the situation as I possibly can. I don't want this going bad for anybody. I simply want to give people the straight facts. I want only the facts in this situation. And the facts are that a 16 year old and a 19 year old should not be dating. Even if this, um, and even if your age of consent in both of your guys' states is 16, Ryan started dating you at 17, which means you were 14, which means that it's still pedophilia because that's above and below the age of consent. It may not be anymore, but it was at a time and that's equally as bad. Um, and I also wanna say that you are in danger because this is a serious thing. You could be getting groomed right now and not even know. Even your statement aligns a lot with what people sound like when they've been groomed. So I just wanna put that out there that you are most likely in danger I can't make you do anything, but I'd seriously consider getting out of that relationship. Um, but yeah, I hope this video solves a lot of things and I hope that we can just resolve the situation and get this over with as fast as we can because I'd not like to escalate this more than it needs to be. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna make another post about this unless you guys decide to as well and I decide to respond to it. Um, but other than that, Please don't support the actions of Ryan's washer videos because, well, until this issue, until
the, um, the issue gets resolved. Once the issue does get resolved, I will take down all of my videos, all of my streams, and all of my community posts on this matter. But until that happens, I will not be letting up on this at all. Um, thank you guys for actually hearing me out. I've probably been doing this for like an hour now, it feels. So I'm actually going to go get back in with a sleepover. So I'll see you guys next time. And wow, it's like three in the morning at this point. So I actually have no idea what to say. Peace out, gamers. That one works.